Hello, beautiful family, lovers of good things, lovers of beautiful things all over the globe. I bring greetings from a grateful heart. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your time zone. Thank you so dearly for always tuning into this platform. I really do appreciate. Please do it to like our video, share, and subscribe. Today, I have a wonderful one that I want us to watch, and I will be watching it with you. Sit back, watch it, and I'll be right back. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night to some of you, friends. Wherever you're watching or you're going to watch this very program later, I will want this very program to go to Ebony State because at the end of this very program, we are going to make the main, make the name mention of the people who are inviting the zoo nigerian military terrorism uniform in our land at the end of this very program and as you join i want you to please share the voting so that other people can be able to join yesterday the 21st of this very month of november 2022 in enugu state we witnessed an attack killing of the Afros in Enugu State. And if we recall back a few weeks ago, there was an helicopter that came in Enugu State. We raised an alarm. It went viral. But the Ohanez Ndi Bunando, she came out and debunked it and said that it is a propaganda. Yesterday, we have seen the results. As we are making approach to the Biafra restoration come 2023, so also the border, the border of Biafra need to be protected. It is a paramount, it is one of the priority. The Biafra flag has been hosted almost all across the Biafra land. A lot of us have seen it. Some have not seen it. Good evening. It is a very wonderful move. But like I used to say that once you have something, you need to protect that very thing that you have. This Biafran flag, how do we protect it? With a very strategic way to be able to counter the zoo Nigerian military that is going to come down to pull it down. How do we do that? It's very simple. To mount a CCTV camera in a very strategic area. In other words, to avoid the killing of our gallant men. So that our gallant men can't just go there and die for nothing. We are in 21st century. So also, our borders, the Biafran borders, also need to be protected. Because without protecting the border of Biafra, the Fulani terrorists and the Nigerian military and the Zuna, they are always going to come down to kill our people because whatever action that we take in positive of Biafra restoration, they are going to retaliate. Now, how do we protect our people? Not everybody has a mind to volunteer themselves to pay the ultimate price. But at the same time, it is our own duty to protect our people. That is the reason why the border the border our borders need to be protected it need to be protected our men need to guide our borders meaning that all hands must be on deck if you have not been supporting this very movement financially it is a time for you to do that you know so say now like i said by the end of this very short program that we're going to do right now i'm going to make a main a name mention the people who are bringing the Fulani terrorists in disguise of Nigerian police, Nigerian military to come to our land in Ebony State. Tomorrow again, we are also going to make an announcement, expose people who are bringing these people into our land. Like I said, yesterday, the 21st of November 2022 in Enugu State, there was an attack and all of us, we saw it. These are people's children, these are our brothers and sisters. 
that is why our men on ground our men on ground they need to be well equipped strategic points need to be mounted cctv cameras even those places where the Biafran flag have been mounted our men must not go there to go there and sit there to be watching waiting for the zoo nigerian government to come and attack no but a strategic point need to be putting a camera a cctv camera so that whenever this zoo nigerian military came in in order to pull those flags down they will be gone down this is the message now like i said it's a very it's a, it's a short program now in in a, in a bunny state a village a village a village called obanga oza obanga oza it's under easy local government the village head the village head he is responsible bringing these terrorist military in our land in a bunny state and his name so that is why i say i want this message to go to a bunny state so that it can go viral get to that very man and the other people who are doing the same thing inviting military nigerian military terrorists in our land that once we get their information we are going to make it public we are going to make it public like i say in opanga oza village under easy local government the man name is ezekiel Olang olega ezekiel olega he is the village head and his phone number is plus two three four eight one two seven three eight four seven zero two alongside with his son alongside with his son his son's name is ifani olega olega that's a u n l e g a olega his phone number is plus two three four nine zero two six seven seven six two four six and then we have another one by name obunna obunna mopio this one is the lagos branch village chairman in that same village his phone number is plus two three four eight zero eight eight nine zero three zero three one and then we have another one jeremiah Mwaba. jeremiah jeremiah Mwaba. plus two three four eight zero three seven one seven zero two eight zero and then we have another one innocent Mwaba. Mwaba. innocent Mwaba. plus two three four eight zero three three nine zero eight eight nine zero these people are the people responsible bringing the zoo nigerian military terrorists in our land and these people they are in network i tell you these people they are in network in the villages any place that you see that was an attack or you see nigerian military terrorists in our land people like this are the people responsible for that we have another information a police station where these terrorists are camping like just the, just this issue of a, 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 a issue of a, of a enugu state like we said we know that few weeks or last month there about there was a full that came down from enugu state they dropped people from a helicopter and we made a viral video that went viral because of that but then the organization people came out and said that it is a lie yesterday we see the result and we got information the police stations in any state where these people are camping the police station abani police station in any state ozala police station in any state mtd police station also in any state this is the reason why the afrans all over the world need to support our gallant men if you have not been paying your quota to make sure that our gallant men are well equipped these things that we are talking about, CCTV camera, these are one of the things that the the chicken doesn't promise by Afrans on the twenty uh, on the twenty second of November twenty twenty one. But it is our propaganda. Now we are now in charge. It is your own obligation in order to do what all these things that being needed and so many things that 
I can't just come out to say. But money is needed in order to put on these things, you know, so that we can be able to save life. Because let's just take example for this uh, this flag that is flying all over the African land right now. If camera is mounted somewhere, and somebody is somewhere monitoring it, whenever, whenever the Zoo Nigerian military come in in order to pull it down, they will get what they want. Because what we want is the Afro restoration. What do you call it? What we want is better restoration. And that is why I say, once you have something, you need to protect that thing that you have. Guide it jealously. This is the word of Mazen Nam Dekano. We guide it jealously. That is the reason why that we are pleading everybody to in order to do up to put hands on deck. Put hands on deck. Those of you who are not participating to support our gallant men, this is the time for you to do it. If you have not been doing it, this is the moment that you, we need you in order to do what to support this man. Because our borders need to be protected. If we mount flags all over Biafra land, but our borders are vulnerable to the enemies, of what use? What you're going to see that you see the enemies, they'll be mocking at us. Even the, the Zoo Nigerian government, they'll be laughing at us because our borders are vulnerable. They can come in and go out as they, as they please. They can come in and kill and rape our people. You know what I'm saying now? But once we begin to do this, then they will know that we are guard them serious. You know what I'm saying now? So our borders need to be protected. Our borders need to be protected. Biafran border guard protection. It needs to be protected. It is very, very important. That is my message right now. Tomorrow again, we are going to come out in order to give out names of the people who are inviting the terrorists. And let this be a warning to everybody who is participating with these politicians because they allow themselves to be used by these politicians. Now, their names have been mentioned. The politician will abandon them. So if you are part of this very act, sabotaging what we are doing, sabotaging your own freedom, your name and your number is going to be mentioned. Your name and your number is going to be mentioned. Let me call this man again for the last time before I end this very program. In This is in a, in a, in a Bonny state. Of anger, Oza village under easy local government. The village head, his son, and the rest of the people that I'm going to call are the people responsible for bringing the Zoo Nigeria, even the Ebu Bahago. These are the people. And you know that some of the ESN who have decided to sabotage what we're doing to join Ebu Bahago, they are working for these people. So they are collaborating. Ezekiel Olega. He is the village head. His phone number is plus 234-81-27-38-47-02. His son, Ifanyi Olega, plus 234-90-26-77-62-46. Ogunna Mopio. This one is the Lagos branch chairman in that village. Plus 234-80-88-90-30-31. Now you have Jeremiah Mwaba. Plus 234-80-37170-0280. And then the last one, Innocent. More bala plus two three four eight zero three three nine zero eight eight nine zero. Let this message get to Ebony State. In matter of fact, let it get to these very people that I'm talking about so that other people can be able to learn. I still remember as Odin Kemen Kandelum Wachineke, a bona fide active member of IPOB and also an active financial member as well. The second disciple of Onion Dumas and Nam Dekano. Shalom. I would. That brings us to the end of this beautiful update. Do where to like this video, share and subscribe. The best thing for you to do is to join this family by smashing on that red subscribe button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more latest updates. See you when I see you. From me to you, I say bye.